Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, myself Sudhir Jirobe and my channel name is Civil with Sudhir. Right. So in, yesterday I have updated the syllabus for the BWSSB assistant engineer and the type of question they may ask. Right. So all the questions and regarding that one I updated uh, yesterday. So today in this video I am going to discuss about the syllabus for the diploma of uh, junior engineer who have the applied the BWSSB under the junior engineer. So what is the syllabus there in the tension that so what is the uh, what subject we have to study and what are the different uh, type of question they may ask. So please watch this video until last to get all the details about the BWSSB JE 2018 paper with the question paper uh, pattern as well as the type of question they may ask. Okay friends, let's start. So please before going to start, I will tell you one thing. Please subscribe our channel. Our channel name is Civil with Sudhir. Please click on the bell icon also. You will get all the latest notification regarding my channel. Right. So let's begin friends. First one, the material of construction. Right. Is nothing but the building materials. Okay. Building materials are material of construction. You know already for the... Uh, yeah, assistant engineer also this subject is same but here this subject is in depth as well as they may ask the in-depth questions on the theory theoretical part as well as some um, problematic also right so first uh, uh, topic is cement so cement you know uh, they may ask the any any question on the cement okay they may ask the questions on the cement components or they may ask the chemical composition percentage of chemical composition like lime silica iron oxide what are those percentages and what are their functions in the cement right so the type of question they may ask like this next the type of cement okay you know the you have 10 to 12 type of cement that is opc ppc blast furnace slag low heat cement ordinary portland cement right portland pozzolana cement white cement right so you have a plenty of type of cement for what purpose you are using the different type of cement so that you should understand and should remember right for example for canal which uh, type of cement you will use okay you can use ppc and you can use the sulfate resisting cement also right like this they may ask the question on the type of the cement next one test on cement lab and field okay for this please uh, go through my channel i have already uploaded one video on the test on lab and field okay both i have updated with the different videos please go through that video so you will get all the details in depth so how you have to take what are the different tests you have to conduct on the lab and what are the tests you have to conduct in the field so what how they will measure and what are their importance in regarding the quality of the cement right so those are the tests it may helpful for you they may ask on the question that that one also right initial setting time final setting time consistency of cement like this right so next one bricks right so bricks in that first one classes of brick as per is specification test on bricks okay so classes is different and uh, they are uh, classes mean that is classification that is class a class b or class c or first class second class or third class these are depends on the strength of the brick okay what the brick you are manufacturing the strength depend on strength they have divided a three different uh, classification right next test on brick you know test on brick you you can conduct the size size test shape test water absorption test right compressive strength test right so you can conduct uh, uh, that is efflorescence test as well as hardness test right so these are the different type of stuff they may uh, conduct on the bricks right next substitute of the bricks okay what are the materials you are using to manufacture a brick and what are the functions of those bricks okay if you are using clay if you are using silica if you are using magnesia so what are the functions of that and what is the percentage of that in presence in that brick that is the important point right next one aggregates in aggregates you can see fine and coarse aggregate right so you know fine and coarse aggregate test and objective of the test okay so you have plenty of tests you can conduct specific gravity you can conduct water absorption you can conduct crushing test impact test right impact test crushing test abri uh, abrasion test 
right so this importance of this test with the results you can uh, go through my videos you will get all the details next one cement mortar okay there is a mistake they have uh, done some mistake cement mortar that one right they have printed as mortal right consider this is mortar cement mortar right proportion and its application for various work okay so the mixture of cement and sand is nothing but the cement mortar okay we have a different type of mortar also with a different application with a different advantage and disadvantages right so next one concrete you know what, what is concrete concrete is a mixture of cement fine aggregate and coarse aggregate okay, with the required quantity of water you will get the concrete right so concrete is widely nowadays using for any any structure okay if you want to build any structure you require the knowledge of the concrete okay again in concrete <coughs> we have a different types now here you can see they have asked the workability also right if you want to study about workability you should know the properties of the concrete then only you can understand the properties uh, sorry uh, workability of the concrete to study the workability of concrete you should know two different topics okay so those topics are first one is segregation second one is bleeding okay segregation is or uh, that is separation of fine aggregate and coarse aggregate from the mass of the concrete okay and the bleeding is uh, the water coming to the surface after placing of the concrete to the sur any structure okay any place is final position if you place a concrete at the uh, one point okay at an beam for example if you place a concrete in a beam the water will come up then that is a bleeding that is excess water with the cement that is a these two are important for workability next test and objective of the test okay you have a two different type of test that is a fresh test and hard and concrete okay hard and concrete test and fresh test for fresh you have workability for hard and that is compressive tensile and flexural test right so you have to study on these topics so you will get the questions on these only next one timber right in timber hard and soft and their differences for timber first you should know the structure of the timber right so if you know the structure of the timber means so what are the different parts of the timber okay for example the innermost part of the timber is we can say that is an pith right outermost part we can say that is a cambium layer or outermost layer okay medullary layers like this you have to study all the first fundamentals then you can understand what is the difference between softwood and hardwood right so next one defects and seasoning of timber right so seasoning is nothing but friends uh, if you cut any timber right and if you convert it into your standard commercial sizes the timber having some moisture you have to remove that moisture right so that is the process of seasoning of the timber right so this is about the building materials or material of construction next to subject is design of concrete and masonry structure right so in that you have two method limit strain method and working stress method right you have first you have to study both the methods advantage disadvantage formulas right and what are the design concept they are using with the formulas you should remember and you have to take a note on that right so that is a limit state uh, design for bending shear axial compression and combined forces okay that is bending shear axial codal provision for slab beams walls and footings right next working stress method on design of rcc members right so both the methods you have to study in the in the in the average of the footing slab as well as the beam right so you you may they may ask the question on the footing also minimum size of bar maximum size of bar maximum spacing minimum spacing like this they may ask the questions right please note on that and you should remember some important points next one hydraulic machines right hydraulic machines and pumps right this is a complete of hydraulics centrifugal pump types performance parameters scaling pumps in parallel reciprocating pump vessels performance parameters hydraulic ram okay so is nothing but they have only mentioned some important uh, topics so uh, always don't uh, remember only this syllabus they may ask the related question also okay now they have not given about the uh, notches wheels 
but they may ask the question because it is related to your uh, hydraulic machines also right so don't only study this syllabus but this is for the standard okay this is for the standard one please go through all the related topics also right next one water supply engineering that in water supply source of supply yields design of intakes conduits as well as water demand okay so how much quantity of water demand for a city or in period and what are the demand water demand capacity how to calculate you have a different uh, prop uh, different formulas for that one you should remember those water quality standards okay very very important right so in water quality standards uh, i already told you that in the last video please go through that video if you not please go you can uh, hear here right so water quality standard is nothing but uh, they have mentioned some values right they have some permissible values okay how much is the total solid how much is the chlorine content like this they have given some permissible values according to iso right so you should remember all those things and you will get through the you will get uh, some questions on that one right next one control of water borne diseases right next one primary and secondary treatment okay primary always uh, remember my dear students that for water okay you will not do any primary only you will do secondary because no contamination is present in the drinking water if you are taking the water from any source it depends on the source also right we can't say that we require only secondary okay sometimes you require the primary also right for the industry waste or industry water what if you are on to reuse then you required primary as well as secondary treatment detailing and maintenance of treatment units okay that is a sedimentation tank as well as a different screening process or coagulation okay so you have a different um, step by step procedures are there so you have to follow and you should remember some points next conveniency and distribution systems of treated water leakages and control these are about the water supply engineering next is waste water engineering so friends just you can see they only concentrated on the liquid okay they only concentrated the syllabus is they have concentrated mainly on the the liquid particles nothing but that is hydraulic strength of material like building material because they in bwssb uh they may construct pump house you required only the knowledge of the material and when you want to construct the pump house you required some knowledge about the water supply as well as the waste water as well as hydraulics so you required only this knowledge so they may check on a particular subject right so they may check the your knowledge on particular subject so you should remember all those these uh, you have to study these points so you will get through questions on on this only right next one the systems of sewage collection and disposal design of sewers and sewerage systems okay so design in design so they may give some uh, formulas they may ask some formulas so empirical formulas you should remember pumping kerosene of sewage and its treatment disposal of product of sewage treatment stream flow rejuvenation insulation and industrial sewage management plumbing system okay these also important plumbing system as well as industrial sewage treatment okay so these are the important points according to my my view so you study on these topics uh, rather than uh, remember the formula as well as the problematic here they have not mentioned any problems okay they they will never mention you the problem but they may ask the problems on uh, bod cod okay oxygen demand like this they may ask right so you should go through this, uh, that problems also right next one geometrical properties of the section that is a next is strength of the material that is strength of material some then some subject first you should study the basic one stress strain their relationship type of material right so what is elasticity plasticity and their behavior okay you have to study like this that is the geometrical properties of these sections simple stress and strain bending moment and shear force theory of simple bending okay you have some assumptions in theory of simple bending okay that assumption you should remember they may ask the questions on the assumption also right next one deflection of the beams moment area method okay moment area method only stress strain relationships okay stress strain next uniaxial loading beams bending moment and shear force very very important okay they may ask nearly 3 to 4 questions on bending moment and shear force 
right so next bending stresses and deflection of the beams right so the deflection of beams they may ask question like that uh, they may ask the formula for simply supported beam udl okay what is the deflection of this beam okay like that they may ask the question right you should remember the formulas or you can calculate there only right shear stress distribution torsion of the shafts okay very important you have some formulas of torsion right next helical springs combined stresses thick and thin valved pressure vessels strut and columns strain energy concepts and their theories of failure okay so friends uh, accept this they may ask on the estimating also they may ask the questions on different subject but only some important uh, subjects with their um, uh, syllabus they have given here but you, you should follow this one this one also but rather than this related topics you have to study well okay so if you want any doubt please comment me on the comment box right so please like my video comment and share my videos to your friends who need this one who have applied the bwssp exam thank you thank you and all friends please subscribe our channel civil with sudhir thank you and all friends